Let's discuss about the basic operational amplifier circuits. If you see here, the operation amplifier concentrates on the principles involved with the basic operational amplifier circuit that is inverting and non-inverting amplifiers. So you can see here the representation of the inverting and non-inverting amplifiers. Let us first discuss about the inverting amplifier. The basic operational amplifier inverting amplifier that is depicted over here very clearly. If you see here the input voltage that is V in is applied to the inverting input through the input resistor R in. And here the non-inverting input is grounded here. The feedback resistor that is RF is connected between the output and the input is connected between the output and the inverting input. Since the input impedance of an operational amplifier is considered very high, no current can flow into or out of the input terminals. Therefore, the input current that is I in must flow through RF that is the feedback resistance and it, is, and it has been indicated as IF which is the feedback current. Since the RN which is the input resistor and the RF are in series then we can simply say that IN is equal to IF. So the voltage between the inverting and the non-inverting inputs is essentially equal to zero voltage. Therefore the inverting input terminal is also at 0 volt. For this reason, the inverting input is said to be at virtual ground. So, the so if you see here, the output voltage which is said to be V out is taken across RF which is the feedback resistance. So, this can be proved that is IF is equal to V out divided by minus RF. Here V out is indicating the output voltage and RF is indicating the feedback resistance. Since I in is equal to IF, then we can mention V in divided by R in is equal to minus of V out divided by RF. Now rearranging the equation we will be getting minus V out divided by V in is equal to RF divided by R in. Therefore, the voltage gain of an inverting amplifier can be expressed as AV is equal to minus RF divided by R in. As follows, the amplifier grain is having the ratio of RF to R in. Finally, the output voltage can be found by calculating V out which is equal to minus RF divided by R in into V in. So from this we can say that the output voltage is out of phase with the input voltage.